Well, hey everybody, I just wanted to get on for just a moment. Uh, we're getting ready to go into a part of my seminar that I did in Ohio this past weekend. Uh, a lot of guys couldn't show up due to circumstances, but we did have a great turnout, and I mean it was really good crowd for the first uh, for the first one we've done up there. Uh, the seminars are starting to come back a little bit, you know, due to circumstances with COVID and all these things that's kind of happened the last couple of years. We've not done a lot, uh, and really last year didn't do any because of uh, everything being kind of just shut down. But they're starting to come back a little bit, and I'm kind of glad because I've kind of missed it. And uh, but we're going to go into uh, just about a 10 minute segment. We're going to see how this goes. And if you like this content and if you want to see more of the seminar, I think it was over an hour long. Uh, I'll do it in 10 minute clips, maybe during the uh, in the next few weeks. I know this is not the regular day that we upload. We usually upload on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, but this is kind of an extra for all y'all. And tomorrow will be the regular video uh, that we'll have up. And it's a good one. You don't want to miss it. Uh, and then we're getting ready to start turkey season this coming Saturday. I'm going to South Alabama and I'll be hunting down there. And then our turkey season will be going till about the last of May. So we're getting ready to, to, to come into the turkey hunts uh, of the uh, part of the season with the videos. So you want to stay tuned to a lot more from Dell Outdoors. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Just hit that subscribe button down in the corner. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you uh, maybe if you have a, a, a wild game dinner or a local NWTF chapter or any kind of event that you'd like to set a seminar up, if you like uh, this, what you're about to see, and this is something that you'd be interested in maybe for this coming year or next year, just private message me and we'll try to set up maybe a, a time where I could come and do some seminars uh, for you and your local area. But we're going to take you into it. If you want to see more of this seminar, just comment below and say, yes, we'd like to see a little bit more of this, uh, of this kind of material. And uh, then we will be back tomorrow with the regular video of the week. So you don't want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the new video. But let's go into the seminar now in Southern Ohio where we're talking about killing turkeys and I think this first clip is about hung up gobblers and how I get them unhung a lot of times. So you will stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow in the, in the next video. You got to really get the knowledge of us working them in because it's easy, it's easy to hear one. You know, y'all could, you don't even have a turkey hunt. You can never turkey hunt in your life. Go out there and stand in the field or stand up on, uh, behind your house if you live in the country and listen on, on a good morning in April. And I guarantee you here in Southern Ohio, you'll hear turkeys gobbling somewhere. Because, you know, it's, it's just, you, you don't have to even know how to turkey hunt to hear a gobble gobble. But working one in is a whole different story. And there's lots of things we can go into about working turkeys in. But just some of the things that I want to talk about today. Yeah, because pretty much I figure everybody that's here pretty much knows about how turkey hunt, kind of know how to call, and I'm not going to sit here for an hour and tell you how, here's how you club, and here's how you, now I'll open up the questions here a little bit, if you want me to talk about tournament clubbing, or if you need some, that's fine, I see we've got kids here, I'm totally open to beginner stuff, but I think everybody pretty much knows the basics of yelping and clucking and all that. Turkey you think that just comes flying in and suicidal. He's a kamikaze turkey. He just won't come in and bomb you. You know, he just, he hears you, man. He's ready to breathe. He just won't come in. We all love that turkey. You know, anybody, a beginner can kill that turkey just about. You may, you don't even have to know how to call very good. He's ready to, he just comes in and, you know, four or five yelps and he's in on your lap. That's a kamikaze suicidal turkey. And then there's that turkey that is stupid that we think stupid. He comes in, he's interested, he's out there at 100 yards, 150, 200 yards, and you're box calling to him, you're yelping to him, you're mouth calling to him, you're slate calling to him, you're doing everything, he's gobbling his head off, and then he comes at 100, and then he comes to 75, then he comes to 60, and you're sitting there and you already got him in the skillet. You throw the safety off your gun, he's just under the heel, and all of a sudden he stays there. And he walks back and forth, and he gobbles, and you're you're sitting up there calling, and he just keeps gobbling, and you're thinking, hey, man, come on up here, but he ain't coming. That's a hung up turkey. But the reason he's hung up is because in nature, the hen always usually goes to the gobbler. That's what makes turkey up such a challenge. You're trying to reverse it. You're trying to get him to do something out of his nature and come to you. But the thing that a lot of people get discouraged about is when a turkey gets hung up just 70, 80 yards, 60 yards, and they think, well, man, I've tried everything. 
But a lot of times you overcall it to them and you push them off. So just a couple of quick things about this, this turkey I want to talk about is something that a lot, uh, I started doing, uh, I started talking about, I've been doing it for years, but I started talking about last year on the videos. And a lot of people commented on that video and said, man, I never heard a turkey do that. What are you talking about? I've never heard that. I've never, I've never even heard of that. But that's what I call a whine. And a whine, if you got a hung up turkey out there this year, fellas, and you got a turkey that's hung up and he just ain't coming in, you purr to him, you pluck to him, you've done all the pretty stuff to him, you know, you... You've done all that stuff to him, he just, man, he, you can just hear him spitting and drumming, he's out there and you just can't see him. And all of a sudden he starts maybe just hanging up or he walks or he starts walking a little bit off, even. And you get a little bit, a little bit scared, oh my lord, he's leaving. I've done this so many times over the years that it absolutely drives turkeys batty. Now, it don't work 100% of the time, but I'll tell you, it works a lot of the time. And what I'll do is I'll whine to them, what I call a whine. And this is what a hen turkey does when she is so ready to breed and she's ready to do something. And it, I have seen gobblers actually turn that was walking away from me in an open field. You know, when I hunt like a lot of Midwestern states like Missouri or some, or, or some state, you know, where it's a lot of open, or even in Ohio, I watched this a few years ago in, in Ohio, just about uh, an hour down the road from here. I was hunting, uh, and this guy was out in the field, and it was the last day of Ohio season, the last day of season up here, and I came to that last week of season. And this guy was out there in the field, he's probably, I don't know, he's probably 80, 90, he's just too far to shoot, you know, 80, 90 yards, he's walking away from me. He comes all the way out that field full strut, and he's just sitting there looking at me. And I'm up here at the corner of this field, and I'm thinking, man, he's come this far, you know. And he started turning and going, because he didn't see no hen out there. He, he saw, you know, he didn't see nothing out there. They had no decoys, nothing. And he starts walking away from me. And honestly, if I had it on camera, but my camera battery died, because it took him so long to get down there, I looked around and said, Dale, what are you going to do? You're just going to sit there and you know, wait. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to sit there and hunt him. But I started doing this. Now, you don't want to overdo it, but I did that three or four times. This turkey throwed his head up, starts strutting, and he turns like on a dime, and he starts coming down that field. And he comes right to me about 20 yards, and I blow his head off. But that wine got him to turn around. So that's something you keep in your mind this year. Just practice that little wine. Don't overdo it. But if he's hung up out there, I did that last year in Virginia, too, killed big old gobbler, wind him in. And I've done it a lot of times. So there's a lot of things you can do when a gobbler gets hung up that you can use uh, to your advantage. But don't get, you know, don't get discouraged. And I'm going to tell you something about turkey hunting. If you get defeated here, if you get, it's, it's very little in your gun or your choke or your camo. And all that stuff's important, but none of it's going to do any good if you're defeated right here. Because I'm going to tell you the type of turkey hunters you have. You've you got turkey killers, you got turkey hunters. I decided a long time ago I wanted to be a turkey killer. I got tired of going with guys that wanted to leave at 9 o'clock and go back to the restaurant and go back to Hardy's and say, Hey, they just quit going. I used to hunt with them guys. Some of y'all probably hunt them guys. Now, I mean, by 9 o'clock, they're ready to go. Because everything's shut up. Gobblers got the hens. They're done gobbling for the, you know, for the morning. And they just, man, they're, they're done. They're ready to go to the house. Listen, if season's all day or if it's half a day like it is in Virginia the first, six, uh, the first three weeks or 1 o'clock like it is in Missouri, I'm going to be out there at 1259. I'm going to be out there at 1159. I ain't coming out because I've killed a lot of turkeys at 10 minutes to 12 or 10 minutes to 1. I killed one a few years ago at, 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 in Missouri. The shutoff time was at 1. I killed one at 1258 when I got him in. When, when I pulled the trigger, it was 1258. But a lot of guys had already been done. Because they quit gobbling. But you got to stay out there. If you're going to be a turkey killer, you got to sometimes quit hunting with these guys that's holding you back. I hey, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe to this video. Hit that subscribe button down the corner. I appreciate it. Also, check out my signature series of calls from SpringFeverCustomCalls.com, my old sly signature Matt Dell box call, and my brand new slate call from Spring Fever Custom Calls, and my mouth calls also and check out all the links below. I'd really appreciate it, and we'll see you tomorrow with the new video of the week.